So one of the interesting things about induction lamps is the is the payback math, the uh, the, the math to see uh, how quickly you get electrical savings and whatnot. So I thought I'd set, spend a minute or two looking at some of that. Um, induction lamps are different from HID lamps because there's no filament. Because of that, they burn really cool. There's no heat involved to speak of. You can actually can touch the bulb uh, compared to the over 2,000 degrees you'll see in, in HID lamps uh, if they've been running for a while. So there's no cost of heat removal. Um, and because the PAR levels of these new plant lights, uh, the ELP line and the Red, Redshift series, are so high, um, you can use half the wattage that you're using right now with your um, high pressure sodium metal halide. So you, you can replace a 600 watt sodium HPS lamp with a, a 300 watt plant light with, with, with real good success. You're also putting the lamps right on top of the crop, which makes a difference too. Also, the, the, the ballasts are modern. Um, you, you have a lot a lower ballast overhead. Um, and there's also an additional savings because there's no replacing lamps uh, after every crop cycle. Um, I wanted to take a look at the, the, the basic math. So I, I built a simple calculator um, that you can see here. And I just put this up on the Redshift Lamp, um, redshiftlamps.com website, redshiftlamp.com website. Um, so you can play with it yourself. But, but basically, um, the, uh, again, the math is pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have one high-pressure sodium lamp, you're going to have about um, um, 460 watts of, of overhead. If you're running 18 hours a day of electricity, if you work back that to kilowatt hours, you're looking at over 3,000 kilowatt hours per year. Um, uh, you can calculate the waste heat. Uh, a very conservative estimate um, is about 460 BTUs per hour. It's actually a little bit higher than that, um, but it's a good, a good, a good engineering, a good engineering conservative model here. So, um, uh, and then if you want to replace that 400 watt high pressure sodium, uh, we'd replace it with a Redshift uh, 300 over 80, um, or uh, a, a regular one of our regular grow lights. Just you could actually replace it with a 200 watt grow light, um, and then you can work out what the kilowatts per hour of those lamps are based on their overhead. And then, of course, uh, then you can work out uh, the heat removal savings um, as well in dollars, uh, as well as the electrical savings uh, on the lighting in dollars. Um, so, so, so typically on a one-to-one -one replacement, you're looking at uh, between $150 and $300 a year. Uh, of course, that depends on how much you pay for electricity. Um, I, I think most growers are paying more than more than $0.12. Cents. Um, I think a lot of people are paying some residential rates. Um, so that that you can you can put in what exactly you're paying per kilowatt hour, and of course how many hours you're running your lamps. Uh, here I've got 18 hours in as a as a as a, a, a standard. Anyway, so you, you can use this and 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 sort of grind through um, some very basic some very basic math uh, for the 600 watt high pressure sodium. Um, uh, we think a, a Redshift 300 over 100 will work just fine. Uh, for the thousand waters, you're probably going to want to use two Redshift lamps or two of the regular grow lamps. Uh, the ELPL grill lamps, um, and then um, if you're using metal halide, again, on the 400 watt level, you can get by with one of our lamps. And if you're using a thousand watt metal halide, we'd, re we'd recommend using two. Um, <clears throat> and again, the, the the savings are pretty staggering. Typically, we're seeing very quick payback on these lamps. The lamps are um, uh, expensive to 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 install compared to just a regular high pressure sodium bulb. But uh, there's there's very real payback. There's also higher yields, which aren't being factored into this. Uh, we also didn't factor in. There's also savings uh, for replacement lamps. I know a lot of a lot of uh, grow rooms will change out their lamps every crop, um, and certainly once a year. Um, so um, yeah, you know they, there's a, uh, additional savings as well. So uh, the savings are pretty real. They're, they're pretty easy to calculate. Uh, um, take a look at the uh, calculator that we have up on the, the Redshift uh, Lamp website. And if you have any questions, just uh, just contact us. Thanks much.